All Good Things Must End, and that includes NBC's Magnum P.I. The series has come to a close with a two-hour season, series finale airing on January 3, 2024. In Episode 19, Magnum and Higgins re-examine a fatal arson investigation at the request of T.C. and Mahina, leading to a sinister discovery. Kumu volunteers with Rick at a veteran's crisis call center. At the start of the penultimate episode, Mahina is working an active fire scene when she believes she sees someone inside. However, the home is totally involved, so the firefighters must retreat. Kumu works with Rick as a volunteer phone operator for a veteran's assistance program. TC informs Mahina that he is considering growing island hoppers, but doing so would necessitate relinquishing his ownership of La Mariana. But she's not paying attention because the man's death and the house fire are on her mind. HBD's primary suspect in the arson fire is Hilia, the homeowner. Mahina, nevertheless, doesn't think Hilia said it. TC requests that Magnum handle Hilia's case. Thomas and Juliet are given an explanation by Hilia about her upbringing by her deceased uncle Moku. In addition to operating a contracting company, they were residing in the home they were remodeling with the intention of selling it. Hilia believes her domineering ex-boyfriend Brian may have set the fire. Brian acknowledges that he has been stalking Halia, but he also claims that the previous time he visited her home five days prior, he spent an hour outside her vehicle. Just as Brian had promised, TC and Mahina gather cigarette butts outside Halia's residence. C tries to persuade Mahina that she is not to blame for Moku's passing. A call from a blocked number is answered by Kumu. DJ the caller took several drugs just before he made the call. When Kumu tries to apply methods from her manual, DJ hangs up on her. Dominic Carson, a convict, has a family match in the DNA found on the cigarette butts. Henry, Dominic's father, is the only relative Higgins can locate. His phone hasn't been working since the day of the fire. They find that Henry's phone last rang from a morgue, which was broken into. The director of the mortuary acknowledges that a body roughly the same size as Moku had been taken. Thus, they conclude that Moku might indeed be missing and that his death was staged. The ME determines the body wasn't Moku's. According to Katsumoto, Henry has Moku. DJ calls Kumu back when Rick hears an elevated train sound in the background of DJ's call. Kumu reveals her true name to DJ. Rick believes EJ is in Chicago after he hears bells in the background. Moku had worked on jail renovations. According to Juliet's idea, Henry is helping Dominic get out of jail by utilizing Moku. Dominic was placed in isolation after stabbing another prisoner three hours prior. Moku is compelled to lead a group that is attempting to break Dominic. Thomas doesn't want to inform HPD about the potential escape in order to keep Moku alive. DJG learns from Kumu that she found her father after he committed suicide. DJ is taken to a hospital after passing out and EMTs arrive at his house shortly after. A rental automobile that Moku is coerced into is captured on camera, and Higgins follows the footage to an abandoned warehouse. However, Gordy tells them that the jailbreak has already taken place. To rescue Moku, Henry shoots Crosetti, another thief working with Dominic, and then he gives up. Dominic refused to give up on the other two members of the robbery group, Henry and Crosetti. Dominic is still evading capture. As Kuma travels to La Mariana, she makes a stop at her father's grave. A surprise proposal was among the many surprises in the series final. Magnum and Higgins shared a bed kiss in the series final before getting ready for a night out with Susie and Rick Wright. Higgins opened her dresser drawer after Magnum leaped into the shower and saw the startling find. A brilliant diamond engagement ring. Fans of Miggins are going crazy since it looks like Magnum intends to pop the question. Even yet, Higgins was not very thrilled with the discovery and confided in Kumu about her fear of letting others adore her. Higgins was silently freaking out about the ring, but she was happy to have her attention diverted when Magnum received a call regarding a new customer. Magnum saw that Higgins was not acting himself. He questioned her about what was wrong, but he quickly saw that she was spiraling because she had discovered the ring. Magnum reassured her that Rick was the intended recipient of the ring. He intended to pop Susie's question that very week. Magnum was concerned by Higgins' unease about the prospect of marriage, even if she was relieved to hear this. Susie accepted Rick's proposal, and the friends got together to celebrate at La Mariana. Magnum saw his friends moving forward and upward everywhere he looked. TC intended to grow his helicopter business. Rick and Susie were headed to the altar in love. However, what was ahead for him? Where did Higgins and he stand? 
He wasn't feeling very well about the idea of marrying Magnum because of her response. Luckily, they were able to resolve the conflict. Higgins apologized for her odd reaction to the ring after realizing her anxiety over a future she would share with Magnum was unfounded. About the marriage thing, Higgins murmured. That particular element has been quite uncommon in my life. Furthermore, we are so happy with one other that it scares us to think about changing anything. Magnum nodded and said, I get it. However, there's nothing to be concerned about. I'm not rushing to make any changes at all. After pausing for a moment, Higgins said to Magnum, Well, just for the record, if in the future you did ask me to marry you, I'd say yes. Magnum and Higgins danced in front of their loved ones and exchanged a sweet kiss. Fans may finally relax on Magnum P.I. as the waves have finally calmed.